Sky TV here. Um, so, um, I'm coming to you guys today with a, um, not as happy video. Um, the text you see on the screen says May Horak, 1935 to 2019. Um, and May Horak was actually my great grandmother. Um, she passed away and moved on to another life um, yesterday morning. Um, and it, I just wanted to bring this to your attention that way within the past, the next few videos, if I seem sad or not as happy as normal, you know why. And also because I know my grandparents watch this channel, and I know this video is probably going to get sent out to many of the other relatives and family. Um, so, um, I have so many good memories, and, um, she was always smiling whenever I saw her, even if she wasn't feeling well. She always smiled every single visit that I had. I know my great, I know my grandmother who saw her more than me. Probably those times when she didn't smile, but she was always smiling when I saw her. She was always joyful up until the last few days. Because we went to see her on Thanksgiving. And we walk in. And she points at me and goes, I know you. She was so proud of herself, too. Um, she had dementia, which, for those of you who don't know, is a disease that is very common when you get older. And it basically causes memory loss. Um, I think it started, like, five or six months ago. Um, she started not to know the people around her as well. She knew the faces, it just didn't click in her memory to the name. Um, and yeah, it just sort of got to a really bad point. And then It got worse and worse. It went downhill very quickly. And the um, thing that has to click in for me, I don't know about anyone else watching this who knew her. Um, this time, this is it. Um, I'm 13. And since I was 10 or 11, late 10, early 11, um, Every time she had been sick in the hospital, I had been hearing, we're not sure if she's going to come out of this. And she always did. Um, and this time she didn't. And that's what has to click for me, is that this is it. There's no next time. This is it. Um, she was just an amazing person. Um, always joyful, always happy. Um... But for me, I'm just glad that I got to have her in my life for 13 years. I know most kids in my grade, and that I know, um, never got to meet their great-grandparents. And if they did, it was once or twice when they were one or two years old, and they don't remember. Um, I got to know my great-grandmother till I was 13, and I have lots of memories of her, and she will forever live on in my heart and in my mind. Um, there's always this saying that was released in a um, Mac Lamar song. Um, the saying is, you die twice, once when they bury you in the grave, and the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name. Um, and that really means something in this case, because sure, She's gone. She's physically gone. We can't go see her anymore. 
Um, but she will forever live on in our hearts, in our minds, and in our memories. Um, one of the memories that I don't really remember personally, but I've heard the story from other family members, is when I was young, they had a house up somewhere in the middle of nowhere. It was called the Creek House. Um, and I can remember going there. There was a pool. Um, I remember I would ride my little tricycle around, taking one of my stuffed animals, George, saying that we were going to New York. And I would be riding around in circles for hours. And my great-grandmother would come out and go, are you in New York yet? And for those of you who knew her, you can just see her saying that. Um, and just another memory I have is graduating elementary school at the end of fourth grade. Um, she was in good health then. Um, I'm looking at the photo right now. And I can remember taking that photo and, um, just, yeah, I'm not going to show the photo because it has me in it and my family in it, um, and I don't want that privacy to, I don't want the photos of me and my family to get out, um, but, yeah. Um, another memory I have is, um, I can remember it was 4th of July, and I was, I might have been like 8 or 9, 8, 9, 10, somewhere around there, and I can remember um, playing in the pool and jumping in the pool like any normal 8 or 9 year old would on a 90 degree day, um, and... Yeah, um, I can remember jumping in and making like a splash and splashing my father and grandfather and grandmother in the face with water. And I can remember coming out of the water, um, hair in my eyes, to see my great grandmother laughing. And that's. She was just having so much fun. She was enjoying watching me have fun and be a kid. Um, I know that it's hard on everybody. Um, it's especially hard on my grandmother and great-grandfather. Because my great-grandfather hasn't been without her in, I think it's like 60 plus years. Um, so, uh, I just thought I would talk about her and some of the memories that I have of her because um, some of those memories may fade away and others may not. Um, part of the reason this is going up on a Thursday is that I have no homework and I'm going to be at the funeral tomorrow so I won't get a chance to make a video but that's not important. Um, one last memory that I will share with you guys. I'll share many more with my family at some point. Um, but one is, it's actually not a memory. It's a photo that I have hanging in my room at my dad's parents' house. Um, and um, there's little... Um, Every little kid that I know had those little cardboard bricks. They're like building blocks that you could build with. And I built like an actual building, not with multi floors or anything, but I built a little sculpture and I must have said something or done something really funny or everyone was just enjoying watching me have fun on Christmas. But everyone was laughing and my great-grandmother's in that picture, always smiling. Um, she will forever live on inside of our hearts and inside of our minds. Um, 
the thing is, um, this is the better thing for her. She's not in pain now. We all went to say our goodbyes a few days ago, and she was laying in bed breathing. Supposedly, she could hear everything that we were saying. But she was just laying in bed, in bed breathing. Um, I'm not trying to be mean to anyone. I'm not trying to have this come out offensive in any way. Um, but it was kind of like seeing a breathing dead body. Um, that's when it really sunk in that this was it. This was goodbye. Um, for those of you who knew her, let's have a minute of silence and remember all of the memories. Um, but, I know that she will be greatly missed, but the thing is, um, she's in a better place, she's not in pain, um, she will always be watching over us, um, she will forever live on inside of our hearts, and inside of our minds, and memories, and pictures that we have on the wall, um, various different photos. I can remember a note that I got a few years ago. Um, I think it might have been 2016 or 2017. But it was a note, um, to me saying, I'm glad I got to meet you and be a part of your life. You're really special and I love you greatly. Um, that's part of what it was, and, um, I knew I would never let go of that. Um, it's been kept through the past years. I don't know where it is, but my parents do. Um, and that was when we knew that she wasn't going to try to take a bunch of medicine to try to keep herself alive for 10 plus years she was just, she was just gonna enjoy the time that she had left and spend the time with her family and stuff um, and through talking with my teachers at school all of their grandparents and great-grandparents and relatives had the exact same thing that she did um, I'm even a bit emotional now, and I generally tend to not show emotion on camera. I'm not on camera per se, but it's an audio recording. Um, so, let's just all remember her, keep her in our hearts, keep her in our mind, keep her in our memories know that she will be watching over us, and she wouldn't want us to be sad for days and weeks. She would get the fact that we would be sad for a day or two, but she would want us to move on with our lives and keep her in our hearts and memories. Um, so, yeah, just, me, you will be greatly missed. I was glad to have you in my life. It was really special having that relationship with you that I had, knowing that a lot of my friends didn't even get a chance to meet their great-grandparents, but knowing that I got to have you in my life for 13 years, it, it blows my mind. I will miss you, but I know that you are in a better place. I know that you're not in pain. I don't know that you're catching up with all of the people who went before you. And I know that you will be watching over us. Rest well.
thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, leave support for my family and I in the comments or wherever you want. Um, this video is totally unedited. Normally I'll have an agenda or something, but in a video like this, it's solemn and sad and stuff, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.